Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of our implementation of the week. Uh, in this implementation, basically what we do is use a script in the CRM to create a custom Zoho Forms link that can be embedded inside of each contact in the CRM. So I'll go ahead and start by showing you the form that we have here for a service request. So this is just an example demo form here. So nice and simple, basically just with a first, last email and service request. Now, the challenge with forms like this is that when you're using Zoho Forms, you'd likely want to integrate this with either the CRM or some other source of data. And the challenge with that is, is that this email field is generally what's going to be used as the identifier, meaning that as long as the email here matches the email in you know, either Zoho Desk or Zoho CRM, you'll be able to properly match this service request with the proper contact. But one of the challenges is, is that if someone uses maybe an alternate email address or they misspell their email address, that integration and that link can fail. So what we do here is basically create a custom URL, which will pre-fill some of these fields. So something that not everyone knows about Zoho Forms is that if I actually just append a question mark right here, I can type in a couple fields and actually have them populate into the form itself. So we can see that now this form is pre-populated with the name Tyler. So to kind of bring this all together, what we do inside the CRM is write a script where upon a contact being created or edited, where they have a first name, last name, and an email address, we actually will go ahead and create for them a custom URL. And we'll see that this custom URL basically just takes the name of the form or the form URL and then appends a couple parameters like the first, the last, and the email. So when we go ahead and click this link, we get a pre-populated form, which could be sent directly to this contact so they could have this on file for themselves, where it'll pre-fill their first, last, and email to prevent any issues with matching this service request form back into the contact. So it's kind of helpful for a variety of different use cases, um, but some of the key ones are just mostly around scenarios where you want to be able to have a form um, kind of customized for a specific user. And that could either be, you know, from a customer service standpoint, you know, where if you know someone's first and last name, it's kind of a best practice not to make them fill it in themselves. Um, but you know, kind of the real key use case for this is in being able to consistently know that this email address is going to be the same for every form submission um, so that you are able to uh, do your integrations using the email as a unique key.